Welcome back 3D students. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a tower. So let's get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do is name this wall, wall. So you can do that by coming up here to the uh, right in the command panel here and you can see the name of the box right there and just name it wall. And then I'm going to hide this. So I'm going to come over here to my um, scene explorer here and click the little eyeball next to it and hide it. You can also right click and bring up that quad menu that we talked about last time and select hide selection. That does the same thing. So to create a tower we're going to start with a cylinder. So let's go to the create tab and select cylinder and click and drag in the center of your grid and drag up and click and then right click to stop creation. And we now have the basics of a tower. Let's go to the modify tab now and let's give our tower some more height segments. And you can see that. And make sure you have edged faces turned on so you can see your segments. And now from here we can do a number of different things. Let's make sure we give it two cap segments so it looks like this on the top. Now your towers can be small or they can be if we adjust the height they can be short and fat we've seen some like that and either way you just adjust the height and the radius to get your tower like you want. Now to make a very basic tower let's um, add an edit poly modifier Go to polygon mode and then zoom in on the top and I'm going to click this first polygon here and then I'm going to hold down control and double click on the one next to it and that selects that whole ring of polygons. Now remember we can extrude by holding down shift and moving upward. So let's do that and extrude that whole ring. And then let's select every other one remember we hold down control see how I accidentally moved them there you can just hit control Z if that happens to you let's just select every other one here and hold down shift and extrude those up and you now have a very basic tower we can also extrude windows in the tower by clicking some polygons like this and then we can use a tool called inset which is in here in your tools right here and I'm gonna use the inset settings and I'm just gonna click and drag up a little bit you can see what that does and then I'm going to use my extrude tool settings by clicking here and I'm going to make sure that I extrude by local normal and then I'm going to extrude that inward somewhat. Now I could also use a tool called Bevel. So I'm going to X this out and find Bevel, which is right here. So I can show you what that looks like. So let's switch to Local Normal. And then I'm going to extrude that inward. And then for the Bevel, I'm going to do an inward Bevel like that. And you can see what that does. Sort of scales it inward. That makes a nice defensive arrow slit sort of thing. Now we can make multiple windows by clicking multiple collections of Oops. polygons and we can do them at the same time so let's uh, inset these by group and notice it inset them exactly the same as it did last time because that's what these tools do let's click the check and then let's use bevel and notice it did exactly what it did last time in the correct direction. 
So now we have a pretty basic tower. We can extrude a door by doing the same thing. Do that down here. Start with an inset. Notice we have this bottom part right here. So I'm going to delete these first. And then I'm going to take all of these and move these down so they're even with the ground. And then we're going to use that bevel tool again. Now I need to delete these as well. And move this down to the ground. Like so. And you know that we don't need these bottom polygons because they're not going to be visible. So that's a basic tower. Now let's add some more detail to the tower. And let's do that when we come back. And I'll see you in the next video.